from royal court to magistrate's court. The Duke leaving with a six months driving ban. No comment. Anything to say? No comment. Do you regret what you did? No comment. In his role as Earl Marshal, Edward Fitzland Howard is senior advisor on ceremonial events for Buckingham Palace. From the Queen's funeral last week to the state opening of Parliament, he's in charge of all the royal planning. But earlier this year, police caught him using his phone while driving through Battersea. After confirming he lived in a castle, His Grace the Duke of Norfolk pleaded guilty to using his phone at the wheel. But he then asked the court to be spared the driving ban as he has a pivotal role to play in next year's coronation. The Duke arrived at court this morning with his legal team, all dressed in black, still mourning the Queen's death. Inside, his lawyer argued that he should not be banned from driving, claiming exceptional hardship. Journalists were excluded from part of the hearing as details of next year's coronation, including the date, were discussed. The court accepted this was an issue of national security. Some plans were still unknown to King Charles and the Prime Minister. The Duke lives at Arundel Castle in West Sussex. He argued the driving ban would affect his business interests there, including his staff of 150 people, though he did admit he had the financial means to employ a driver. Police spotted the Duke on his phone back in April after he ran through a red light on Batsy Park Road. Do you feel that you've embarrassed the Royal House? The Duke left without comment, but paid £1,200 in fines and court costs and had to be driven back to his castle. Greg Smartel, ITV News, Battersea.